We start tonight in Norfolk, where the school board has approved next year's budget with a $10 million gap. Thanks for joining us. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. The vote comes after weeks of discussion and outrage from the public over proposed teacher cuts. Now the board is asking the city to pay the difference. A ton on your side, Joe Fisher is live in the newsroom. And Joe, the board did save some jobs from the chopping block. Well, Tom and Anita, the school board delayed its vote last week after many people showed up angry over the superintendent's proposal. That proposal included cuts to 60 full time positions, mostly because of declining enrollment in the district. Tonight, the board voted to save nine gifted resource teachers, despite efforts by some board members to save even more jobs. Ms. Wagner? Aye. Mr. Jordan? Aye. We now have a budget. The price tag $329 million, $7 million higher than the current one. It cuts about 50 positions, including 22 elementary art, music, and PE teachers. Music teaches you how to count. Uh, art teaches you how to express yourself. Peggy Scott believes the cuts will hurt students. Our children have to go up against other children in other areas that have all of these attributes when we're applying for college. Board member Dr. Noel Gabriel voted to save those positions, but her effort got little support. And I wanted to try as best as I could to try to preserve some of those positions to maintain um, a certain level of services to our students. The budget also does away with with seven reading and math teachers and eight guidance counselors. However, the board saved nine gifted resource teachers Wednesday night, and the proposal accounts for increasing health care and retirement costs. Is it a perfect budget? Absolutely not. However, Superintendent Dr. Melinda Boone says the budget addresses the district's needs. This at a time of declining enrollment, which means less money from the state. The state provides these resources, but at the level that the state provides them, it does not meet the needs of what the local community feels is important in order to make sure our children have an excellent education. Board members say if the city doesn't help fund the $10 million gap, the cuts will continue. I think it's time that our city put a priority on our children. And this budget is not final until the city decides how much of that $10 million to give to the district. Meanwhile, the superintendent raised concerns tonight about the White House's budget. She says proposed cuts to federal education programs could, if approved, cost the district another $5 million come October 1st. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. Ted on your side. We told you about this story last week right here on Wavy News 10. For this story and all past coverage, go to wavy.com.